Happy International Women's Day. It's a brand new week filled with brand new opportunities. Go out there and grab them. Yes, you're welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. I go by the name Ifeo Lua Oshunke, and joining me today in dissecting and showing the stories are my ever ready co anchors, Ife Lua Omai and Quincy Jones. How are you doing? Ife Omai, actually, she's corrected me a few times. Yes, I have. How are you? Yes. I'm very well, thank you. And you? Well, well, well. Doing good. You look very monday -ish. That's good. That's good. Ah, it means I'm connected the to, the, to the day, innit? Is that the plan, though? Apparently. Yeah, and our guy, Quincy Jones. The white Quincy Jones got a tattoo, people! <laughs> Put your hand up, ahu. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand up, man. Ahu. <laughs> we are Africans. <laughs> Africans! <laughs> Ow! Oh. What's up, man? My guy. Put your head up, man. If babe. I leave it, Oh, my God. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you in the struggle. Yeah, bro. We are together. Yeah. We are brothers. <laughs> How do they speak in, in, in all the wood movies when they want to depict Africans? We are brothers. <laughs> you put your hand up. We stay together in the struggle. We fight. <laughs> Ah, it's good, bro. I'm great, man. Yes. I'm feeling it, though. Don't mind him. You're feeling it? I don't know what this is. Ah, who? <laughs> What's your problem? Ah, who? What's the problem for God's sake? I'm just not me. Okay. I'm stressing my life. What's the problem for God's sake? You're stressing my life, Ife. You spoke like a South African. See, we're with you. I spoke Nigerian. You spoke South African. We're together in the struggle. Ah, who? I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what this is. I but guy, you, you look nice though. I like your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I like your outfit, bro. Uh, if you don't have manners, that's, <laughs> that's what this is. No, no, that's not what this is. This is just about me admiring another brother. Mm. Oh. Uh, we've, right we've, heard, we've heard you. Mm. I admire you, bro. Yeah. How's your weekend, Quincy? Just work and hustle. Mm. What, 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 what were you up to? Tell us. Just work and hustle. That's it. Yeah, work and hustle. What does that Tell mean? Tell us about it. It's God's, it's God's glory. What, what, you grind. You grind. Don't mind this yeah, one. What? Should I start telling you my business? Yeah. Live on TV. Yeah. Uh, what if that's a free advert for you? So no. you're like is okay, it illegal? Is speakers. I made one. It's one definitely illegal. I made one million dollar with one dollar. I am. I am the absolute. So opposite. tell us what have you been up to, my guy? I did also and I did grind. Let's leave it. Out. Make I tell you what me I did do. What you mean that? Make I tell you. Oh yeah, no. Make I tell Make you. You sure for you talk up? <laughs> Ah, uh, no, 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 but if you show for you, talk hey, out man. Man. No, but talk out. Hey, okay. But, but at the end Sir? of the day. No, me, we're not going anywhere, you bro. Me, You're me, saying me it. Let me tell you what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. so, so it's doing. about what? So there was this plus events, right? W what are you talking about? Plus events. Yeah. It's my social diary show on Plus yeah, TV, yeah. Africa Channel 408 yeah. on DSTV. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed. No, your side hustle. What, what is it? My side hustle? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about, you are you trying one. to be a Omokre or mean right No, no, no I'm just asking because you a Because Omokre said the biggest waste of your education is just sitting in an office from 8 to 5 p.m. every day. Are you trying to pull that on me? Not saying that, but you've got a side hustle. Yeah, I've got a side hustle. Yeah, so what I sell it? clothes. Fam, who gave you your tattoo? You, you sell clothes. <laughs> are you okay? You sell clothes? Yeah. I sell clothes, bro. Yeah, but that's not the one you told me about, was it? Which one did I tell you about? <laughs> no, if you can tell me the one I told you about, then I'll give you double hands. No, 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 it's all right, but you can say it. I it's can say it. That's my also, I saw clothes. Okay, oh, the one man. I told you, oh, <laughs> shoot. I don't really like sneakers, so I. Yeah. Shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. Shoes, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Shoes. Yes, it was. Oh, okay, and the watch. Well, Are you, you ready to buy? You, you didn't have money watches? to buy it. Hey. Like yeah, a week ago. Yeah, I couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when you have money, call me. I'll holler at you, man. Yeah, man. The plug. Tell Nigeria. The real plug, Nine, isn't it? 38447. <laughs> you want the best? Call me up. All right, man. Alrighty. All right, so we're moving on to the first story of the day. On Saturday, Whiskey shared a snippet of himself and Thames on set for the visual for the song Essence. Soon after, Nigerian Twitter users stormed their platform to express their des desire to see Thames. But in the new music video sharing Thames' photo on Twitter, producer Sam Clef also tweeted that he would love to see, see Thames behind. In quote, Y A N S H. Apparently, he commented did not sit down well with um, his comment did not sit down well with Simi, who simply replied in a beat to justify himself. The music producer, in a series of now deleted tweets, lashed out at Simi as he wrote, I serve his 
better face front. You too know, Abby. You won't show yourself. Also, it will be recalled that the music producer, producer said he is one of the reasons Afrobeat is international and we should put some respect in his name. Can we just listen to people's music <laughs> in peace and not in pieces? But let's talk about sexualism in, in Nigeria. Can we just in listen Nigeria. to their music so, in um, peace? Enough with that nonsense. Was Sam Cliff really wrong? You really want to say um, terms Y E N S H? Everybody wants to say it. Every, almost every guy wants to say it. No, not me. And, and no. I'm like every guy. Oh, I, I don't think. You're <laughs> I don't understand guy. what you get a from every women, other guy apart women, from what you get from this of, guy. A lot of <laughs> yeah. women. A lot of women. Uh, 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 sorry, a lot of guys. I mean. <laughs> a lot of weird a lot of guys, guys put weird. A lot put of weird behind the guys. Okay, so they find terms super attractive. Really? And some find her sexually attractive. Really? Which is normal. Really? Isn't it? Is it? Yes, it is. How is it? How is it normal to find terms sexually attractive? All what right, let saying? me put it to you this way. Now, sorry, before you speak, I think this time I want to be a bob. Yeah. A who? A bob. What is a bob? A bob. But risky. No, calm down. I don't speak like women. Can I not speak for women like women? Okay, I'm just trying to get your Bob reference. Yes. Okay, okay, go on. Yes. So my guy, first of all, right, no one really finds Tim sexually attractive unless... Wait, you cannot, No, 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 you cannot up. speak on behalf of all the guys. Let him finish, let him finish. No, 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 no. Nobody says But that's a wrong statement. You can't speak on behalf of every every guy in the world. Okay, what are you talking about? I'm talking about... Okay, okay, I'm not speaking for every guy. Exactly. All right, let me let me rephrase this, right? You started with the speaking for guys Nobody, right... I said a lot of guys. In their right sense, sees any woman and sees them sexually attractive. Now, wait, wait. Hold Are up. you even a man? Uh, Who be this? Let's hold hear. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. I'm listening. Now, if you get attracted to a woman, possibly because of physical attraction or intelligence or whatever thing that attracts you. What is physical attraction? Hold up. Uh -uh. Or whatever attracts you to a I'm woman. I'm hear what he wants to say. Or whatever attracts you to a woman. It's okay. But you don't come out there. You don't go around and say, oh, I'm attracted to intelligence, do you? You don't, right? What is your point? My point is, you don't go around and then you just put it on a blog and say, oh, everybody's waiting to see times behind. I wasn't waiting to see that until you called my attention exactly. to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And the moment you called my attention to it, yes, I'll probably want to go back to a Thames picture and, and start looking for, as in like, do you understand? That is very, very disrespectful behavior. to anyone. It's like me taking a photo of myself in a brief. And then somebody now says, and then somebody now says, oh, it's, it's cassava. Is you don't even take a picture of the brief. You stopped at the yeah. stomach. And you now say, and say Oh, I wish I could imagine I I could showing the beneath. And then everybody goes, they zoom in. Then we're not looking that for your, your, your thing. Me. It's awful. Do you understand? Which is very sad for any man to do. To a and woman. Like, why would you do that? Who says, I respect women. Look, mm -hmm. I don't believe every man at that one point or the other has to pass cream to a woman. To cream her back. Are you telling me after you passed the cream, you went to the bathroom to jack off? What does that have to do with this? Now, this has to do with this because if you say you are doing something for a woman on a sexual note that doesn't have a sexual connotation, right? And then you say you do it and then you're beginning to imagine sexual things. It is as sad as Akapampolu. I mean, what's that getting in Ghana? That showed that son, and everybody was saying that, oh, this is a young boy, and you're showing him your body, and you're doing this, this, this. you know, you're exposing him to sad, sad, sad. You are sad as that guy. I, I see no correlation whatsoever. Now, your point being, sexualizing women. My point being which, yes, that obviously. sexualizing women is very disrespectful, especially. Yes, it is. When, At least you understand yes, that one. Okay, you understand good. that yes, one, right? It is. Yes, it is very disrespectful. So, if attempts did not show me a behind, Right? And she does not want me to see her behind. Do not call it out. my attention to her behind. Ah, Simple. Fine. Period. Fine. Period. End of but, story. But are men thinking of it? I'm are at the men. men. Am I not a man? Yes, they are. Which looking at it where? Where? In her videos. It's How? It's not there. Bro, That's bro sorry, what? That's the whole essence. I'm sorry, Femi what? Femi has never, ever, 
ever. Which is why he called it out. Why first place. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, has never Has won. never gallivanted her behind anywhere. Nobody said gallivanted. They say in her videos. I don't understand. Her, her body, right her there. entire body is in her videos. Obviously. Does not mean that you can actually show me a screenshot where she's showing it and advertising I actually, it. I shake. I did not say she's shake. advertising it. <laughs> Are you, do, you want me, do you want to go or do I want to? Yes, no, it is in her videos. It is. Um, her body is in okay, her videos. Okay, tell me one video that you saw Tengu's behind. Like, it's, it's, and I'll probably tell the producer how, to play. Exactly. Tengu's today is international women's day. It's in Try Me. Yes, it is. It is in Try Me. Yes, it is. All right, producer, please, if you got Try Me, can you just pull it out when we because call the music break? Because it is not, right? because it, like it is not in Try Me more than her hands and her legs and her ears. It is not more than it is in her face. As I said and I repeat, it was not an advertorial. Do you understand? Yeah. So then the, your, your point of saying so that you it's have your video. Do you don't have a problem with it? It's her like body. It. Of course it's in there. I don't did know I notice the behind in the video? Yes, I did. You did? Full stop. Okay, do so I wait, like wait. it? Yes, I do. Well, what, are you saying with Full Sam, stop. what are you saying with Sam Cliff exactly, please? Yes, sexualizing women is wrong. But are other men thinking of it? Yes, they are. Full stop. It's not no, even rocket don't science. Say other men say, was I thinking Are some of men it? thinking of it? Yes. <coughs> Okay. That's, it. That's all you have for this conversation? Yeah. <laughs> and then you said a lot of a bunch of stuff that doesn't just even... No, I'm saying up. you, your regards to Sam Clef and his tweets. That's all you can say that, yeah. No, he was, wrong to, he was wrong to say that. He was wrong to say that. No, you don't sound honest. like you think yes, he was he wrong. Was. Yes, he was. But I'm saying, men are thinking of it. He's just a, well, he's just a smart one who decided to say it. That's it. It's That's the smart? You even think it's smart? That says a lot about you, you know. Uh, you, it, means, it means you do not speak sarcasm. No, I speak sarcasm well and no, good, but I do not disrespect women. I have a lot of respect for women. Again, and let's the moment, just... Now, let's go back to Simi's um, post. Simi self, WTF, right? Now, it's what are you me. talking about? Now, all Sam Clef could have done, regardless of his bad blood with Simi, <laughs> was, ma'am, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. You knew worried. smart enough that you were supposed to delete the tweet, which you did. Good. Do you understand? You knew this tweet was not up to par, so you chose to delete it. But you told her in the same tweet that I'm going to delete it, but you, Mrs. Blah, 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 and you went on and on and on and on to run. That was absolutely Whatever understood. your problem with Simi is, is none of her business. Especially in that context, where she was correcting you about where you were disrespecting a woman and sexualizing a woman and dragging Nengi into all of this. No, e you, Erica, you, you, so. you've done this yeah, since yeah, day yeah. one. I don't know, they look beautiful together. <laughs> I like two beautiful women. Do you have huh? a problem with me having... Get uh, their names right. I'm in love with two women. I very, don't very know which different one to women. Choose. They look completely different. Their bodies are it's different. He spoke about Erika in the same tweet, right? And um, Erika said, I don't know you. Don't drag my name in this, blah, blah, blah. All Sam Clef could have done was, I'm sorry, telling us about 10 years, telling us about how you've been in this game, how you are ungrateful. Is that what we really. If you owe me money, if, I, I if you owe me money and I call you out, do you start telling me that you that I bought food? That I bought this. Will you be telling me all those things? I'm telling you, you hold me money, pay me my money. Do you understand? So at the end of the day, huh? Eh? No, no. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's just about saying I'm sorry. And some Clive went overboard. We need to get. That's to my opinion, but you get that. He could have just. All I think is he could have just apologized for the tweet and moved on. That's all. All that back and forth with uh, the you know commenting on on Simi's tweet and all of that was mm. highly unnecessary, to be honest. That's it. So I personally think we need to start getting to a point where we respect women in the music scene enough to not talk about their bodies ever. We can get there. The I know that it's the, the game is hard waste. and most of the women that have been able to climb up the ladder are very okay with being sexualized and they've gotten their power with that and there is no problem with that. No problem at all. But when another woman says, I don't want to be sexualized, I think you need to respect that. Mm. It's not rocket science. For all the men who think like that and are thinking about it, all those people, I think it's very clear that you know that Thames is not the kind of person that wants you to be looking at her in the way that you want to look at her. Because it's Obviously. very clear when a woman wants you to look at her the way she wants you to look at her. Yes. If I want you to look at me like a snack, if I, want you to, if I want to show you that um, I have things that are edible and desirable, I would let you know. If I want you to be looking at my face, 
or you know the way you dress is the way you are dressed if that makes sense there's a way that i can put my clothes together and you can tell this person is going for an interview this person is going to hang out with their friends this person is going to the beach this person like you can you i can even need to i can tell communicate going to. to you how i want to be how i want to be treated and timmy hasn't communicated in any Excuse way me, let me sorry. just finish please because i love you guys to talk and i'll let you do your thing so enough is enough with this bullshit. I mean, sorry for, sorry for my, my language. And then the men that are saying, oh, um, it's okay for him to say what he said. It's not okay in any way, mm. shape, form, size. And I'm not going to deny and say that you can't think certain thoughts. I mean, some things you can't just control, right? Mm. Somebody is attractive, somebody is attractive. I see a man that looks good, he looks good. But then you're not 12 and you're not a sicko or a psychopath. <laughs> so if you're not one of those three things, you can control your emotions and know when you're allowed to say some things, mm. when you're not allowed to say some mm. things. And if you don't know that by the age of Sam Cliff, you have <laughs> a serious problem. By like the age of Sam Cliff. Your problem is so <laughs> big. <laughs> I don't know where we can start with helping you out with that nonsense. And then now when you made that mistake, thinking you were cool, or maybe you're doing it for clout, or whatever it is, life is just that deep for you, you need to be talked about, and maybe that's your job, all these blogging, immature people. Okay, fine, you've done that thing, and then, oops, it was a mistake. <laughs> um, and it didn't, your, your, your stupidity did not work, it didn't bang, people didn't like it. And then you want to apologize, and then you drag somebody else. I mean, are you going to drag? Simi was not the only person who talked about that. You clearly have an agenda with Simi, yeah, you and then you now use that one to be dragging Simi and even embarrassing yourself even more. So that's, that's when I even knew that this guy is a real clown. Yeah, a real clown. Because after you've embarrassed yourself with an oops, you can just naturally said, oh, guys, you know, it's wrong one. I'm not beyond, I'm not beyond approach, whatever, whatever. Let's just get it. Move it on. And then you brought Erica into it. For you to even make your point, you bash another woman. And Erica had sex on TV and everybody has moved on. What is that? Are you like, who is this man? And why are we even talking about him on national TV and giving space? Like the fact that I'm dressed so nice on Monday to come and do my job. And this is the best I'm going to talk about first. Um, baby, no, as in, it's upsetting my soul. Yeah, no, baby, because he's a joke. Hey, if I speak you about it's it. a joke. It's a, it's a very stupid joke. Listen to this girl's music in peace. And and just shut the hell up. I think women have had enough of your, I think, and women are, and men have that thought. We don't care about your thoughts. Listen to our music and move on. Thank you. Alrighty. Yeah. Either way, you don't get to control how people see you, man. Different strokes with different folks. Mm. That's it. Is that what you have to say, bro? No, she said it all. It makes sense. But then, all right. I'm just um, saying, you don't get to control If I look on oh my, if I, oh my, we really appreciate you for your take, Quincy Jones. We really appreciate <laughs> you for your take. But we're going to be moving on to the next story. But I think I'm going to be going with your take. So, on air personality, if I die or Larry Day, popularly known as Daddy Freeze, has responded to the High Court judgment that requested he pays the sum of 5 million naira to Mr. Paul or Dekino for committing adultery with Benedicta Ilici. His wife. While she was still married to Paul Odekina, the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt subsequently found Daddy Freeze guilty for an adulterous act and demanded he pays the sum of 5 million naira. In a recent video, Daddy Freeze has come out to clear the air on the trending saga. Daddy Freeze asserted that he was not served by the court and hence the Supreme Court of Nigeria is the apex court in Nigeria. He insisted that he will take up the case right from the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court of Nigeria to justice is properly served. Hmm. <laughs> What's our take on this story? I want to honestly, what is our take on this story? Look, I'm, I'm confused. Me too. No, honestly, I'm confused because um, the initial situation was um, adultery. Yes. Mm -hmm. So who went to report who? The husband. First. The husband. The husband of the, the, husband the lady of that slept with Fred. That the the, was yeah. sleeping with. Okay. So the husband went to allegedly report that he freeze. With, yeah, yeah, yeah allegedly, allegedly not even yeah. deny it. Mm. So it's not allegedly, but this is a collector. Okay, mm. so now <laughs> his defense. Yes. You don't deny it. Wait, but his defense is. I was not sleeping with anybody, so we are going His defense mm. is. He was not served. They did not serve yes. me. Yes. Right? Yeah. They didn't yeah. serve. Yeah. I was yeah, in court. A, in the court of law, <laughs> he has a, he has a point. Yes, now. absolutely. I was in court. I was in court. No, it was court, but it wasn't court like that. Uh, <laughs> it didn't like that. <laughs> I was in court in the way you said I'm, I was yeah, court. Yeah, I was in court like that. Basically. Yeah. I mean... And then, I don't know if anybody got um, the children from the marriage. You know, this woman has a child with that, a freeze, right? And um, the court is saying that every child from that marriage, and as long as that woman was not divorced to the man, even that the first child is the woman's child and is the man's child. What? The legal husband. Do you guys know? No, what, what, what do you say? Over that again. Yeah. Now, the legal husband 
was never divorced. Which husband? There's two husbands. Are Mr. Elichi. <laughs> Mr. Elichi. Okay, we said it. Yeah. Mr. Elichi mm -hmm. was never divorced, right? Yes. Obviously. And Mr. L and Mr. Ayorinde, Abi, so Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze, uh, Daddy Freeze, also has a child with this woman. Well, that woman was not divorced. Mm -hmm. so every child from that marriage. Now it's Mr. a Elegy legal term. Wife. Yeah, between Mr. Elichi and his wife. It's also whether it was Freeze. Quincy, whether it was me, whether it was Mr. Freeze, mm -hmm. anybody that freezed the egg. Mm -hmm. eh? Is the father of the, is not the father of the child. The person that is married to the woman is the father of the child. Right. That's just weird. Right. That's a weird. Word. No, no, that's the law. No, I mean, no, it no. makes that's sense. That's terrible. Law. That's the law. No. I mean, if you're literally transform uh, transferring the ownership of another person's child. No. That's well, you're already, already in, a, in, a, in, a, in a legal institution. You know what bigamy is? That's what you know what bigamy is? You know what bigamy is? weird is having sex with You know what bigamy is? Hold on. Do you know what bigamy is? No, I don't. All right, so bigamy is when you're legally married and you have an affair with another woman, right? Now, that is punishable by seven years in prison. Mm -hmm. The fact that I'm legally married to you, fell my and then I have a relationship with another person, mm. right? I can go to jail for seven years. Mm. Do you understand? And this is a legal institution between Mr. Elechi and Mrs. Elechi. Mm. Do you understand? You're not understanding where I'm coming from. What where? I'm saying is, it's the law itself. I'm not saying... Um, the law is wrong or is right. No, no, what, uh, sorry, I'm weird. not saying it's weird. It's a no, very no, weird it's okay. law. It's not. If I have an affair with someone else and a child is made out of that, yeah, why does another man get to be the one to take care of my child? Because that person that carried the child is legally bounded to that person. Yes, I know. Yes. I mean, to a certain to a certain level, the, the logic seems okay. Yeah. But then, I'm my picking though, you know? Mm. This, this is my child. This is my I mean, it's still your child, sperm. but by the law. I mean, by the law and reality is always, when the, child turns always 18, the same. The you know? child can choose so what happens if, father. Sorry, what happens if... if the dad, okay, that, that, that's does. good. But what happens what did you say? if the dad... When the child is 18, the child can decide to choose you as a yeah, father. Right. Adult, yeah. go on with but yeah. what happens if the husband that's doesn't the want the child? Well, it's not once. You gotta have to divorce. I mean, then you're no, gonna no, have no. to make Wait. the woman divorce the husband yes. and marry you. No, you don't get it. This is it. Then you get all the you're, children. Hold on. All the you're, kids. Both, you're both married. We would never be. Fine. We would kill each other. You're both married. I think you guys will get along fine. Uh, you're both married, and yes, we there's will. an affair. Actually, hold will. on. There's an affair, and we then will. we made this child, and then mm -hmm. the saying is your child now, right? What if you don't want the child? By the law, you can't not want the child. By the law, the oh, so law. wait, you're not even just taking the child away from someone for This has nothing to do with you're taking now... the child or who's caring for the child. That's what it is. That's not what the law it's says. That's what it That's is. That's why it's not now. the case in the first place. Yes, don't you no, understand that legal on. matters and, and, and the the court is not coming to you. Exactly, I'm telling you how you want to do things. You went to the court. So the child was given to Mr. Elechi on the The child wants to like sign documents and things like that because legal legal matters is not really the same same as like reality like i can be married Obviously. to you but they're not believing with you that, mm. that has nothing to do with the law so if i say to, if they say to you that the child that i had outside of our marriage is ours that has nothing to do with the logistics of how the child is going to be raised <laughs> and, and all of that is up she to you but you when the child is now has anything <laughs> yeah. to do with like legal binding so maybe he needs to be he, his guardian his parent needs to sign something you'll be the one to stand as his father no but what you or guys her said father. what you guys said mm. says the law means you're automatically the father of the child. Yes, by the law. Because you're married to her. Yes. Yeah. It's still weird. It is weird. It is weird. What's weirder Nobody's is you weird. sleeping with somebody else that's not your husband and then getting pregnant for that person. That is really, really yeah. weird. So when you start something weird, I Wait, think so you expect did the weird child, did, tendencies. Did, did the child come about during the course of the marriage? Yes, yes. now. That's why this conversation it, is there. The marriage was never dissolved. That's why. If the, if the marriage that's was not there, Daddy then Freeze this conversation is yours. Daddy Freeze bad days. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All I can say, because I know people are coming really hard on him in regards to, um, obviously, because he's such a, he's, he's employed himself as the minister of morals, especially when it comes to pastors and all of that. And there's nothing wrong with calling out the... Yeah, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a comment. Can I just say this? Somebody said that the fees that does not pay tight <laughs> now wants to pay five million there and child support. Are you joking? <laughs> it's not the same now. Father, I will never pay. No, he will have to, and this is not the same. But yeah. um, anyway, uh, I understand that the, you know you have been you kind of when you call people out, it starts to look righteous. Um, mm. But the problem with having a reputation for calling people out is that 
when you it's your turn, yeah, exactly. And when it's your turn, people are a lot harsher. So I understand the the thing and all of that, but. He's never been somebody that I didn't think was capable of not committing such a crime, if that makes if that makes sense. So I'm not really surprised or like, oh my God, I wouldn't have suspected. Even if it was Timmy that color, for shocked. example, now, maybe I'll be like, oh my goodness, Timmy that loves his wife. And then, and then, and then. But this man, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I like Grace's love. That the phrase is not somebody that I thought, <laughs> oh, he's not capable of like looking outside or, or behaving funny. So if, they, if that's what the law has said, then pay your money, my guy, and fix it yeah. up. Yourself. Yeah, but if if the if there are possible grounds of him evading the the Five fine, million. you might as well just explore it. Of yeah. course, I mean, of time course. Of the money no day Lagos. I mean, yeah. of course. Yeah. But he has, I'm sure he has five million no to give. You feel it, Chad? But I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure you know he has five. Feel I, I, I feel it. like he, he has, has five million. Feel I feel yes, like but right? feel it. why feel why is he going to feel it? Five million. Five million because you knocked him. This is not the kind of vibe that you're not giving five million to like. Baba like, 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 senators, they give girls that money. Anyways, anyways, Quincy Jones is about to shake the table. A table. I'm breaking. We have to hold this. They are giving people 15 million naira to play. I'm telling you. Should I even mention the location? Guy, I want to pay me now. They hold the table. Should I even mention the location? Wait. There's one place. Don't, don't, don't break this table. Oh yeah, where is it? 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 In connection, mm. <laughs> this table <laughs> is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nigerian singer Barry J has been arrested in Ghana in connection to the death of his record label boss, Kashi Gordon. News broke on Sunday, March 7, 2021, that Kashi Gordon, the boss of Cash Nation Entertainment, committed suicide by jumping. A source revealed that Barry J and Kashi had a fight in Ghana over accounts and other label related issues in Ghana. When the argument got heated, Kashi punched Barry J in the mouth. Barry J confirmed this when he shared a video of his bloodied mouth on social media. Well, um, this is a sketchy case. I, as to me, I don't think it's sketchy. I think it's very straightforward. All right, really? They had the, yeah, I think it is straightforward until proven otherwise to me. Yeah, true. Because you know what, what I think is uh, they had issues. Um, they fought. Mm. He bossed him out, but mm. he's his label boss, so I feel Barry J maybe couldn't hit him back or something. I don't mm. know what it is. Or Barry J just doesn't know how to fight. He bossed him out, he was bleeding, mm. the scuffle happened. And then I saw this video of this guy who who claims is a witness and he was present at the whole situation mm. and they were at the fifth floor of a six six story building. Six story building. Yeah. And uh while all that was happening, they tried to kill the uh fire. the situation and the fire, mm. but um uh what 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 did he say again? Yeah. Something about the Kashi guy still kept on going on and on. So they called security and then he kept on going. It was still agitated, you know, very maybe he was trying to pull a and fell off whatnot. a balcony. And then he fell off. And not like he jumped, but he fell off. That's it. You see that that to me is exactly why it's not straightforward. Why? Because, because um there is off. there is a possibility of an of of, of um the Contact. incidents, yes, of the incidents being connected, right? If they, if he was in the, alone in his house and he jumped off, fine. Then it's no, it's a simple story. Or if he fought and then he went home and then he jumped off, fine. You understand know what I mean? But when you now have something like he, they just finished fighting and then all of a sudden but he wants to quickly commit suicide. Know. You know, it's it's to did me he, that's did no he longer really straight. Finish fighting? To me, that's no longer straightforward. To me, that is like there is too many possibilities that could be happening. It is possible that it that that it's a coincidence that he just happened to be fighting with somebody and they were in the balcony and there was heat and the da 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 and then all of a sudden he fell into deep depression and let's kill himself. It is possible, but it is also very possible that it's not. And let's not pretend like as if no, it isn't bizarre that just right after you were you were having intense fights with money issues with things that are enough for me personally speaking for me to say that you can get physical and things can get out of hand mm. then i don't see why that would be all of a sudden absurd if people are saying that it could be connected because it could be 
um, one. Two is that the people that are involved, like these guys, family members, are insisting. So they know more of the story. And I'm not even just excluding it to just the incident of the fights and mm. the suicide. Mm. And that they're saying that there's From deep, yes, time. that there's deep bad blood going on. And you had, and then that person is also the bad blood that person that you're having issues with was also with you just Probably. before you died or like one of the last people to see you before you died. It's not. I it's not. Know. It's not bad. It's not out oh. of the ordinary to say. Oh, make. It, no, it's not not out of the ordinary to say that there, there is a connection there. Oh, make. And, and to me, I like to listen to the people that are very close to the person that um, just it died, died, because they're the ones who probably know him best. Suicide is not something that you if take you play that, with. exactly um you know if he said he he fell by mistake Do you understand i would believe that story they we were arguing fell. no, they, no said they said he, he committed, committed suicide. suicide a lot of blog sites the, dude, that the dude who made that video well it wasn't a video it was actually instagram live that claims he was there said he fell that's what they said. That's what he said. That's not what was reported. That's not what, what was reported. What was reported was suicide. Yes, initially. exactly. So can you already see that there's already the, something wrong with this whole story? Because now I was doing suicide. Well, now I'm saying he fell. Now I'm saying falling off the balcony. How do you fall seems... off a balcony? How? How do you fall off uh, a balcony? Influence of, influence of alcohol, drugs, stumble. and a fight. Yeah, yes. You, sometimes you don't yes. even need to fight. I, I, and just, a fight. If you say, but there is a fight that already went on, so we cannot ignore that fight. If if it's that maybe. But, but so one thing, you, are you, are you insinuating I've that he must have been pushed up the balcony? I'm, insinu I'm insinuating that the fight had something to do with his death. Whether that was okay, deliberate in terms of like I pushed this guy off the balcony, or we were fighting, 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 and an accident happened and he fell off the balcony. That those two things I don't know. Only the person who Can was I there. But quick. I think they were connected. Can I come in real quick? So one thing we we failed to rule out is that another person accounted for fear as the reason they jumped off the balcony, right? Mm. Now somebody else said, "Okay, Barry J was upset. He brought mobile policemen. They tried to get him, and when they were trying to get him, the guy jumped off the balcony." Is fear a factor we should rule out? Can people really jump and do very crazy things out of fear? Yes. Of course now, but yes. I don't think you would run but I don't think you would it, you would leave the police and then jump off a, a fifth story building. I feel like the police is a lot safer and everybody should know. Yeah, that. That, that's logic, but you see, unfortunately a lot of people don't have it. Mm, the yeah. situations Especially where, when you can pay the police. Especially when you can pay the police. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that the more reason why you wouldn't jump? Yeah. No, That's people have paid the police know. to come yes, and exactly. F yeah. you up. Actually, yeah. Do you uh, understand? Now somebody has paid the police. Go F this person. If up. I would you They're jump if I would you jump off a fifth story Amy, building why, because my police I sting is like a butterfly. You. I fly like the a butterfly. The odds of you making eh? it down there Amy, is no, no, like no, no. 1%. Think, so why think, would he jump think, off because think the about police was me coming? Now. It's me now. I sting like a butterfly. I think so. I think, see the, see, the thing is, um, um, what's it called? I have a friend that's still in the hospital mm. that jumped off a, Why? a story building, but he wanted to pick up his phone and was under the influence and I guess miscalculated the phone or whatever, or maybe was seeing double, I don't know. He was by himself and my guy fell off the thingy. No, on God, true okay. story. We just went to visit him like how many weeks ago at the hospital. Right. So I'm All saying right. that it's not, it's not, I'm not saying that, um, you know, there's no other options as to why people can fall off a balcony. But this story is a lot more unique. I mean, and the only thing we well, can do is speculate I really don't want to speak about and assume story. things. But I don't think that they are I not really connected. I really do not want to speak about the story because it's still an investigation ongoing. It's and okay, with my, an opinion. And with my legal background, I think I'd rather just wait for it to just you know play out itself because I believe uh, in the forensic system and the judicial system. Of are you Ghanians. playing? I'm forensic not playing. system. <laughs> yeah, in Ghana, wait, wait, wait. it works. Wait. Actually, it's not Nigeria. Just wait. That's yeah, another speak. reason why Please I have listen. confidence. Yes. Because this is not Nigeria. This is Ghana. And I have and more confidence. And you don't want to talk about the uh, story because it's an ongoing investigation. Yeah, it's an ongoing investigation. But you were the one who introduced the story to the show. <laughs> I, I have to get your opinion. The oh, fact that I don't want out. to share my okay, so opinion. So you don't want to implicate yourself. Anyways, this is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Stay with us, Blacker. <laughs>